So here in this video, I am going to uh, show you some of the important questions asked in the interviews of information security analyst. So these are the most frequently asked questions. So I will be explaining the answers uh, of these questions in this video. So starting with the first question, explain what is the role of information security analyst. So from small to large companies, role of information security analysts include uh, these common functionalities that is implementing security measures to protect computer systems, data and networks, keep himself or herself up to date with on the latest intelligence, which includes hacker techniques as well. So there are uh, some websites that you have to keep on checking to update yourself regarding recent attacks and their solutions preventing data loss and service interruptions, testing of data processing system and performing risk assessments, installing various security softwares like for firewalls, data encryption and other security measures, recommending security enhancements and purchases, planning, testing and implementing network disaster plans, staff training on information and network security procedures. So these are all the some important functionalities that you can explain uh, for the role of information security analyst. Definitely an interviewer, uh, definitely interviewer will be asking you like what is the role of yourself in the company? What you will be, what you were doing uh, when you are in the role of information security analyst? So these are the some uh, common functionalities uh, that you can explain. Mention what is data leakage or what are the factors that can cause data leakage again important question The separation or departing of IP packet from its intended place of storage is known as data leakage The factors that are responsible for data leakage can be copy of IP to a less secure system or their personal computer human error technology mishaps system misconfiguration a system breach from a hacker, a homegrown application developed to interface to the public, inadequate security control for shared documents or drives, or corrupt hard drive. So these are some of the reasons that may lead to data leakage. List out the steps to successfully data loss prevention controls or list out the steps to control data loss prevention. Okay, so these are all the important steps uh, that are used to control uh, data loss prevention. Create an information risk profile. Create an impact severity. Create an impact severity and response chart. Based on severity and channel determine incident response. Create an incident workflow diagram. Assign roles and responsibilities to the technical administrator. Incident analyst, auditor, and forensic investigator develop the technical framework, expand the coverage of DLP control, append the DLP control into the rest of the organization, monitor the results of risk reduction. Explain what is 8020 rule of networking. 8020 is a thumb rule used for describing IP networks in which 80% of all traffic should remain local while 20% is routed towards a remote network. Mention what are personal traits you should consider protecting data. The personal traits for protecting data are installing antivirus on your system, ensuring that your operating system receives an automatic update, Downloading latest security updates and cover vulnerabilities. Share the password only to the staff to do their job. Encrypt any personal data held electronically that would cause damage if it was stolen or lost. On a regular interval, take backups of the information on your computer and store them in a separate place. Before disposing of old computers, remove or save all personal information to a secure drive and install anti-spyware tool. Mention what is web cracking. What are, what are types of web cracking? Web cracking 
is a method of exploiting security vulnerabilities in wireless network and gaining unauthorized access. There are basically two types of cracks, passive cracking and active cracking. Until the web security has been cracked, that is first I'm explaining the passive cracking. So in passive cracking, until the web security has been cracked, this type of cracking has no effect on the network traffic. Coming to the active cracking, it is easy to detect compared to passive cracking. This type of attack has an increased load effect on the network traffic. List out various web cracking tools. The various tools used for web cracking are air crack, web crack, kismet, and web decrypt. Explain what is phishing, how it can be prevented. See whether it is a SOC analysis job interview, whether it is an information security analysis interview. There will be a definite question on the concept of phishing because it's a very common attack that we see in the internet or in the networks. Phishing is a technique that deceives people to obtain data from users. The social engineer tries to impersonate G9 website web page like Yahoo or Facebook and will ask the user to enter, enter their password and account ID. It can be prevented by having a guard against spam communicating personal information through secure websites only, download files or attachments in mails from unknown senders, never email financial information, beware of links in emails that ask for personal information or ask you to install something which is unknown or not obtained from a reliable and secured source. Ignore entering personal information in a pop-up screen. So you have to be like well aware of these phishing attacks because the consequences after these attacks are very hazardous or very dangerous. So phishing is a very important concept when it comes to cyber security or information security. So we all work on uh, these kind of attacks uh, in our systems or uh, for our users. Okay, so definitely there will be a definite question whether it is a SOC analyst interview or information security analysis interview. Mention what are web server vulnerabilities. The common weakness or vulnerabilities that the web server can take an advantage of are default settings, misconfiguration, bugs in operating system and web servers. List out the techniques used to prevent web servers attack. You have to do a patch management you have to secure installation and configuration of the OS, safe installation and configuration of the web server software, scanning system vulnerability. There are specific uh, third party applications which scan for uh, the system vulnerabilities, whether it's a server or file server or a web server. You have to take care of uh, like installation of antiviruses and firewalls, remote administration disabling, removing of unused and default account. For security analyst, what are all the useful certifications? So you may be asked some kind of certification when you get into an interview of SOC analyst or information security analyst. So useful certification for security analyst, uh, whether it's SOC or information security analyst are security essentials, GSEC. It declares that the candidate is expert in handling basic security issues. It is a basic certification in security. Certified security leadership. It declares the certification of management abilities and skills that is required to lead the security team. Certified forensic analyst. It certifies the ability of an individual to conduct formal incident investigation and manage advanced incident handling scenarios including external and internal data breaches intrusions. Certified firewall analyst. It declares that the individual has proficiency in skills and abilities to design, monitor and configure routers, firewalls and perimeter defense systems. How can an institute or a company can safeguard itself from 
SQL injection very important question an organization can rely on following methods to guard themselves against SQL injection sanitize user input user input should be never trusted it must be sanitized before it is used stored procedures these can encapsulate the SQL statements and treat all the input as parameters regular expressions detecting and dumping harmful code before executing SQL statements database connection user access rights only necessary and limited access rights should be given to accounts used to connect to the database error messages error messages should not be specific telling where exactly the error occurred and it should be more generalized so these are some of the very important questions that will be asked in the information security analyst interview hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like button do share this video among your friends don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe our channel thanks for watching take care bye bye